Hi friends, welcome to Taming Python series. In this video, we're going to talk about how to run a Flask application over HTTPS. Let us take a simple Flask server as shown here. So this is the Python code which runs a Flask server and it runs at a local host port 5000. And if I run this Flask server, by default the server will be listening at HTTP. So I can reach the server at local host 5000 now. You can see hello world. But if I write HTTPS local host 5000, you will see site not found. So one very simple way to run this flash server on HTTPS is just add another input to app.run called SSL context equal to ad hoc. And what this does is that flask will run a dummy SSL certificate and run your flask application over SSL. So let's try to use this option now. So in our server example at app.run, let's try to write SSL context equal to ad hoc. All right. We have written SSL context equal to ad hoc and let's try to run this server now and you can see the server is running on HTTPS. So let's try to reach this site now. Now if I go to localhost 1500, you can see the site was not found and if I write HTTPS localhost 1500, you can see a security warning because it's a dummy certificate and if I go to advanced and accept the risk and continue, I can see my site which is running on HTTPS. So let's try to see what's happening here. If I click on this lock icon, you can see connection is not secure click on that and here you can see more information and here in the pop-up let's try to see the certificate and the certificate is a dummy certificate which is created by flask for testing purposes with just single word you will be able to run your flask server on HTTPS but obviously this is a dummy certificate and you can't use it in production the next method to run a flask server over HTTPS is by using the dot key and dot pem files so dot key and dot pem files are basically the certificate and private key files that are generated using the SSL certificate we have. So if you have an SSL certificate, you can generate a dot key and dot prem files out of it. But I don't have an SSL certificate. So for this demonstration purposes, I will generate a pem and key files by self signing a certificate. So how can I do that? So for creating a self signed SSL certificate, there's a very useful and famous tool called OpenSSL and using OpenSSL you can generate certificates in your local computer which are self-signed. So OpenSSL from Windows can be downloaded if you don't have it at this location. So let's go to this location and here you can see there is the installers and I can download the Win64 OpenSSL version 3.05 Lite version. I'll just click on the exe file and now I'll be downloading the exe file. All right, my exe file win64 openssl lite 3.05.exe is downloaded. So let's try to run this now. I'll just click on this. And now I'll get a wizard to actually accept the agreement and install the openssl windows version. So I've already installed openssl windows version in my PC. So I'll not install it now. So once your openssl is installed in windows, you'll find an openssl.exe file at this location C program files openssl bin64 bin. So let's try to copy this location and since I've already installed openssl, let's go to that location. So I will go to C program files openssl bin64 bin and here you can see openssl.exe. So this openssl.exe can be used to create self-signed certificates with .key and .pym files. And another awesome way which you can use openssl.exe is that if you already have git installed in your computer, already openssl.exe will be present at this location, C program files git user bin. So let me go to this location, I'll just copy this. I already got git installed in my computer. So if you also have git installed in your computer already, you don't need to install the OpenSSL Windows version because already OpenSSL.exe will be present in the file location C program files git user bin. So I went to the location C program files git user bin and here OpenSSL.exe is present. This OpenSSL.exe can be used to create a self-signed certificate. You don't need to install a new OpenSSL.exe if you already have git installed in your Windows machines. Alright, now I've got openssl.exe installed in my computer. So how can I generate a self-signed certificate? So the command is really simple. openssl.exe uh, request x509. You have to generate a new key rsa 4096 and you have to generate an output file of cert.pem which has the certificate file and a key.pem which has the key file and the expiry date is 10 years from now because it's 3650 days from now. So you don't need to remember this command. Just go to this blog post. I'll leave the link of this blog post in the description and just copy this command and use it. 
since I've got a git installed in my computer already, I'm gonna just use this command. I'll just copy this and I'll go to the folder where I've got my server.py present. I'll just open in file explorer and here I'm gonna open a command prompt now. And in this command line, I'm gonna paste the command which we have just copied. I'll just paste it here. And if I just click enter, it's generating the RSC private key and asking some questions. Just enter the country name and a state and a city and an organization name and the organization unit and the common name and the email address and that's it now you should have two files key.pem and cert.pem embedded into your folder so if i see i've got two files cert.pem and key.pem so now i've got my self-signed certificate and i also generated two files for the certificate which is cert.pem and key.pem so let's try to open them now. Cert.pem has all the certificate data and key.pem has the private key data. So these two files are required for SSL. All right, now we have generated the key.pem and cert.pem using a self-signed certificate. But even if you have an SSL certificate, you can even generate these two files using the OpenSSL. All right, now I got my two files. So how can I use this to run my server over SSL? So here, instead of writing SSL context equal to ad hoc in the app.run, you can write a tuple here and in this tuple you have to write the path of cert and key files so i'm going to write cert.pem and key.pem so if the cert.pem is located in some other location so i can even write the absolute path for cert.pem or key.pem so to demonstrate that i can even write the full path of this file and it will run so since i have black slashes i can use a double backslash because it's an escape character so this way you can even give a full path of your certificate file or if the certificate file is in the same path of your server.py just write the names of the files it will be taken by the SSL context. So currently let's try to use cert.pem and key.pem this order should be same you have to write a tuple write cert.pem key.pem are the file paths of your server.pem or key.pem and save this file and let's try to run this now and now our server is running on HTTPS so once again let's try to reload this it's again asking because the certificate is changed and go to advanced and click accept the risk and continue and now I got my site served so let's click on this lock icon and let's see whether the certificate is changed or not so I can see more information and in the view certificate I got my certificate state email address everything which I have entered while creating the certificate using OpenSSL so that's it guys if you have an SSL certificate you can generate the cert and key files out of them and use those files to run your flask application over HTTPS this is how you run your flask application over HTTPS using the ad hoc option or using the key and pem files but I recommend not to run flask over HTTPS in the flask application itself instead run your flask application on HTTP and place it behind a reverse proxy and let the reverse proxy use the SSL let us see an example here. I have an IIS server here which is serving as a reverse proxy. You can even use Nginx and I have configured IIS to serve the Flask application running in that same server. So when the browser asks for a request, it is hit to the IIS first and IIS will ask the Flask server and show content to the browser. So while using the IIS or Nginx as a reverse proxy, you can install the SSL certificate in the IIS or Nginx and serve the request. The SSL certificate need not be installed in the Flask application. There are many benefits to this because IIS and Nginx are battle tested and robust and stable reverse proxies. You can use them in production scenarios. So what I suggest is don't use SSL in Flask in production scenarios. Instead, if you want to host your Flask application in production, keep a reverse proxy in front of it and install SSL in that. So if you don't know how to use IIS as a reverse proxy for running a Flask application, I have made a video on it and I will leave the link of that video in the description. So you can check out that video to know about how to use IIS as a reverse proxy to run a Flask application. You can see I have created a blog post on running a Flask application or HTTPS. I have also given you the notes and the source code so that you can copy paste and practice it in your own computer. So please check out the link of this blog post in the description of this video. I have also given you the references so that you can do further reading. Please provide your valuable feedback or ask any questions in the comment section. Hope you like this video guys. Thank you for watching. Peace.